Texas truly lives up to the saying that everything is bigger there. From large food portions to huge pickup trucks, it's all about being big. Texas covers so much ground and offers so many different experiences that trying to explore it all would take a long time, maybe even years. As we continue our journey through America, our next stop is the Lone Star State. Spanning approximately 178 miles, the Texas segment of Route 66 starts at the Texas-Oklahoma border, near the almost abandoned town of Texola. As the highway makes its way through the state, it passes through forgotten small towns and vast expanses of weird beauty. The journey ends near the town of Glen Rio, at the border with New Mexico. You haven't truly experienced Texas until you've seen the Leaning Water Tower of Britain. Yes, you heard that right. A leaning water tower. Nestled in the town of Groom, this amusing spectacle makes you wonder if everything really is bigger in Texas, even their leaning towers. Further down the road, you'll stumble upon the Cadillac Ranch, a true testament to the eccentricity of art. Here, a row of colorful Cadillac cars is half buried in the ground, waiting for graffiti artists and other tourists to unleash their creative expressions. It's a Texan twist on the art scene. And of course, there is the quirky midpoint of Route 66, right in Adrian. This spot is exactly halfway between Chicago and Santa Monica, giving you the perfect opportunity to celebrate the midpoint of your journey in true Texan fashion. As we leave the Route 66, there is one thing we can tell you. The Texas weather. Oh, it's just a joy. You wake up in the morning and you have this delightful surprise waiting for you. Will it be scorching hot today, or will a tornado suddenly decide to grace you with its presence? It's like a game of meteorological roulette, keeping you on the edge of your seat. And let's not forget the charming wildlife. Texas is basically a giant zoo without any walls. You've got rattlesnakes that love to surprise you on a hike, and fire ants that generously share their stinging love. Who wouldn't want a close encounter with a tarantula while minding their own business? It's a nature lover's dream come true. The Palo Duro Canyon State Park isn't exactly the kind of spot you'd stumble upon accidentally. It's located in the Panhandle region of Texas and is actually the second largest canyon in the United States. Yes, you heard that correctly, second largest. In Texas, everything is about being the biggest and the best. But hey, they settled for second this time. This major natural landmark lies within Randall County near the city of Amarillo. For centuries, this canyon was home to the Comanche and Apache Native American tribes. The canyon stretches its sinuous form across 120 miles of North Texan landscape. It's a profound scar on the Earth's surface, carved over millions of years by the prairie dog town Fork Red River. Yes, that's how the river is called. This geological masterpiece reaches depths of around 800 feet and a width that spans up to 20 miles. The Palo Duro Canyon State Park offers several campgrounds where you can enjoy the nature of the canyon. The stillness of the night, broken only by the gentle crackle of a campfire, is a melody that lulls you into a deep connection with the land. Before we continue, please hit the like button and subscribe to help our channel reach a wider audience. Dallas, the sprawling metropolis in the heart of North Texas, stands as a quintessential American city. At its core, Dallas is a city of business and finance. The iconic Dallas skyline is a symbol of this, with high-rise buildings that host the headquarters of major corporations. Dallas is often associated with the tragic event of November 22, 1963, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The Sixth Floor Museum, located within the former Texas School Book Depository, chronicles this historic event, providing a somber yet educational experience for visitors. The museum offers detailed exhibits and insight into the life, presidency, and legacy of JFK, as well as the events surrounding that fateful day. Among cowboy boots and 10-gallon hats, Dallas hides a treasure trove of sophistication, the Arts District. Here, contemporary art galleries, performance venues, and museums stand side by side. The city also has many nice parks and gardens. Clyde Warren Park, a beautifully designed urban oasis spanning over a freeway, offers a perfect blend of green spaces, food trucks, and activities for all ages. The White Rock Lake, a sprawling lake within the city limits, is a popular spot for hiking, biking, and picnics. 
In Texas, where cowboy boots are practically a requirement for citizenship and horses are the primary mode of transportation, there is a place where the Wild West is still alive, the Fort Worth Stockyards. First things first, if you visit the stockyards and don't see a cowboy hat within the first five minutes, you might want to check your GPS. The Fort Worth Stockyards were initially established in 1866 as a central hub for cattle trade, connecting the ranches of Texas with the national railroads. It quickly became a critical center for the distribution of livestock, particularly cattle. The railroad expansion and the Chisholm Trail, which passed through Fort Worth, played a huge role in catapulting this region into the spotlight of the cattle industry. A major attraction in the Fort Worth Stockyards is the daily cattle drive. You have the unique opportunity to witness a reenactment of a cattle drive, a spectacle that harkens back to the days when cowboys would drive herds of cattle through the dusty streets of Fort Worth towards the railheads. The Stockyards Championship Rodeo is also a must-see event. It showcases the skills and bravery of cowboys and cowgirls in various rodeo events. Austin is the capital of Texas, located at the heart of the state. It's the 10th most populous city in America, with almost 1 million residents. Tourism in Austin isn't a run-of-the-mill affair, it's an experience worth remembering. Music fans call Austin the live music capital of the world, and the 6th Street is their mecca. This historic street in downtown Austin thrums with live music, with different genres from blues to rock. But it's not just the music. The South by Southwest Festival, held annually in March, is an unparalleled combination of music, film, and interactive media. Artists and tech innovators from around the globe flock to Austin, transforming it into America's center of creativity and vision. The Texas state capitol's story is intertwined with the very essence of Texas itself. Construction began in 1882, replacing the original wooden capitol that tragically burned down in 1881. Designed by architect Elijah E. Myers, this imposing building reflects the Renaissance Revival style, characterized by its stunning symmetry, arched windows, and an imposing dome reaching a height of 302 feet, making it taller than the U.S. Capitol. Located just a jump away from New Brownfells, the Green Historic District could very well be the quirkiest time capsule in the whole of Texas. Founded in the mid-19th century, this relic of a town has somehow managed to stay alive among the modernity that now surrounds it. Green is what you might call an intimate community. With less than 500 residents, it's the kind of place where everybody knows everybody else's business, whether you like it or not. The Guadalupe River lazily flows through the town, adding a touch of serenity to the chaos of history that echoes in every creaky floorboard and aging brick. The historic district proudly sports a range of well-preserved 19th-century buildings, many of which have found new purpose as boutique shops, restaurants, and music venues. If you love some good old country tunes, rusty bar stools, and a dance floor worn smooth by generations of boots, Green Hall is just perfect for you. Established in 1878, this Texas treasure is considered to be the oldest dance hall in the state. Legend has it that Green Hall might just be haunted by the spirit of Green's dearly departed owner, Green himself. San Antonio sits in the middle of South Texas. Founded in 1718 by Spanish settlers, the city emerged around the iconic San Antonio de Padua Mission, now known as the Historic San Antonio Mission's National Historical Park. It's been through Spanish and Mexican rule and is one of the oldest cities in America. Around 1.5 million people live here. San Antonio is also the largest majority Hispanic city in the United States, with 64% of its population being Hispanic. Tex-Mex cuisine is the holy grail, and the locals take it very, very seriously. Fiesta San Antonio is an annual festival held in April and is the city's signature event. San Antonio's economy focuses primarily on oil and gas, military and tourism. Believe it or not, over 20 million tourists visit the city and its attractions every year. Alamo is a collection of old walls and weathered stones that somehow holds the key to an entire state's identity. A sign proclaims, Remember the Alamo, as if anyone could forget this historical monument. The Alamo's claim to fame comes from its role in the Texas Revolution. 
Legend has it that a brave bunch of Texans held out valiantly against the Mexican army. Among them was none other than Davy Crockett, the American folk hero of legendary stature. The Texan rebels didn't have much luck and the Alamo fell, becoming a rallying cry for independence. Now, the Alamo itself is nothing extraordinary to look at. You might mistake it for a rundown church if it weren't for the throngs of tourists armed with selfie sticks, posing like they just conquered the Alamo themselves. It's a tourist attraction where you can stand in line longer than the actual battle lasted. But hey, it's a must-see. The San Antonio River Walk is built along the San Antonio River, a prominent waterway that winds its way through the city. This river serves as the centerpiece for the scenic and lively river walk. Couples are leisurely drifted on charming riverboats, and laughter and conversations are intertwining with the gentle lapping of the water. Historic stone bridges arched gracefully over the water are linking the two sides of the river walk. Oh, and the dining! Overpriced tacos with a sprinkle of coriander that apparently justifies a triple-digit bill. You'll find yourself floating on a cloud of financial regret after having this gourmet version of fast food. But in all seriousness, the San Antonio Riverwalk does hold a unique appeal. There's an undeniable charm in its ambiance, especially in the soft glow of evening lights. It's an experience that's worth having, even if you find yourself wincing at the prices and chuckling at the theatrics. Just remember to keep your wallet on a tight leash. Just outside San Antonio, there is a true geological wonder, the Natural Bridge Caverns. Discovered in 1960 by a group of college students, they have since captivated the minds and hearts of thousands of tourists. It's a surreal experience to walk through these ancient halls, imagining the power of minerals and water that crafted this subterranean wonder. For the more adventurous visitors, the Natural Bridge Caverns also offer opportunities for spelunking and exploring the undeveloped sections of the caves. This deeper adventure takes them off the beaten path and into the untouched heart of the earth. Houston is the largest city in Texas. It sits near the Gulf of Mexico in the southeastern part of the state and sprawls over an impressive 670 square miles. Over 2.3 million people call this city home, and you'll find them from all walks of life. If you thought Houston was all cowboys and oil tycoons, think again. This city has a rich cultural tapestry representing over 90 languages. If you're a sports fan, welcome to the promised land. Houston takes its sports seriously. You've got the Houston Rockets for basketball, Houston Astros for baseball, and Houston Texans for football. The traffic in Houston is a bit like the Wild West of the roads. The rush hour isn't for the faint-hearted. It's a battlefield where only the strongest survive. If you're into art, Houston's Museum District is your playground. It's got everything from classical art to contemporary installations. The Museum of Fine Arts and the Contemporary Arts Museum Houston are some of the crown jewels here. Houston has some of the best theaters in the United States. With the Houston Grand Opera, Alley Theater, and Theater Under the Stars, you can catch a world-class performance any night of the week. The Houston Space Center is positioned in the Clear Lake area of Houston, just a few miles southeast of downtown Houston. Hosting over a million annual visitors, it's a place where dreams of cosmic conquests and moonwalks come to life. Ever dreamed of touching a moon rock without actually going to the moon? Well, here's your chance. The Space Center has a nice collection of moon rocks. For those dreaming about a journey into space, there are various simulations that allow you to experience what zero gravity feels like. One of the most iconic parts of the Space Center is the replica of NASA's Mission Control, the nerve center for the Apollo missions. Visitors get a unique opportunity to witness where history was made. The control center for the Apollo 11 mission, the first manned moon landing in 1969. Galveston occupies a prime spot on the Galveston Island, a barrier island off the Texas coast. Bordered by the Gulf of Mexico to the south and West Bay to the west, its location provides a unique setting with some of the best beaches in the United States. Moreover, its proximity to Houston, just about 30 miles northwest, makes it easily accessible, drawing both local and international tourists. Established by French pirate and explorer Jean Lafitte in the early 19th century, Galveston evolved into a major port city. 
In the late 1800s, it was actually Texas's largest and most prosperous city. But then, in 1900, a certain hurricane decided to crash the party, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. The historic district is a delightful maze of old Victorian homes. It's like stepping into a time machine, only without the risk of accidentally altering the course of history. Galveston Pier is the center of amusement. It's got everything you need for a classic good time. Rides, games, and enough cotton candy to induce a sugar coma. The smell of salty sea air blends with the scent of popcorn and excitement. It's a carnival by the sea, where you can unleash your inner child without shame. Corpus Christi was founded in the 16th century when Spanish explorers first set foot on its shores. The name Corpus Christi, Latin for Body of Christ, was given by the Spanish explorer Alonso Álvarez de Pineda, who arrived on the Catholic feast day of Corpus Christi. Over the centuries, the area witnessed a fusion of Spanish, Mexican, and American influences. In the 19th century, Corpus Christi became a center for ranching and trade. The discovery of oil in the nearby areas further fueled its growth, transforming it into an important economic center. One of the city's most famous features is its beautiful coastline, with miles of pristine beaches. The Buck Days Festival, an annual celebration since 1938, features parades, rodeos, and carnival festivities. As a member of the Essex-class aircraft carriers, the USS Lexington was commissioned in 1943 and earned her stripes during World War II, participating in some of the most crucial naval battles. She was a force to be reckoned with, a true symbol of American power. The ship was named in honor of the Battle of Lexington during the American Revolutionary War, and she truly lived up to her legendary name. The USS Lexington was a dominant force in key battles, such as the Battle of the Philippine Sea and the Battle of Leyte Gulf. In the 1960s, the ship was decommissioned. She found a new role as a museum ship, docked in Corpus Christi. Now generations can walk the same decks that once echoed with the footsteps of brave sailors and aviators. You can explore the inner workings of the ship, from the crew's quarters to the command center, and take a look into the life and routines of those who served. The museum has many interesting exhibits, including artifacts, aircraft, and multimedia presentations. Padre Island is a barrier island, shielding the Texas coast from the brunt of the ocean's temper tantrums. This elongated piece of land stretches about 113 miles along the Gulf of Mexico and is divided into two parts, North Padre Island and South Padre Island. Padre Island is the longest undeveloped barrier island in the world. Take that rest of the world. And speaking of records, it's a magnet for bird watchers with over 380 species of birds. Move over, bird watching hotspots. Padre Island is giving you a run for your feathers. Forget spa days. A mosquito buffet is what you'll get here. But worry not, a good old can of bug spray will see you through. South Padre Island has some of the most inviting and sun-soaked beaches you'll ever set foot on. With soft sands and azure waters, it's an ideal spot for sunbathing. And for those with an itch for history, there's the Port Isabel Lighthouse. Built in 1852, it invites you to climb its spiraled stairs and enjoy the panoramic views of the island. Spanning over 825,000 acres, King Ranch is the largest ranch in the United States. In the mid-19th century, Richard King, a riverboat captain and soldier, made his way to Texas in search of new opportunities. In 1853, he purchased a vast slice of land, marking the inception of what would soon become an iconic symbol of Texas ranching. Over the decades, the King Ranch grew and evolved. It stands as a symbol of the American West, where hard work, dedication, and a deep connection to the land have shaped not only a family, but also a nation's heritage. Today, the ranch offers guided tours for visitors. You can witness the working ranch, explore the historic buildings, and learn about the innovative cattle management techniques that have been perfected over generations. The King Ranch is also involved in horse breeding and training. It is famous for its quarter horses, a breed known for its speed and versatility. Located in the southwestern part of the Lone Star State, Big Bend National Park proudly displays its vastness along the border of Mexico. 
It's like a line drawn by nature itself, marking the end of one country and the beginning of another. A border where the only wall is the majestic Chisos Mountains. A wall so grand, even some politicians would applaud. The beautiful Rio Grande decides to show off and carve its way through the landscape, creating a natural boundary. You can go on a rafting tour down its wild waters. If you're a fan of rocks, I mean, who isn't? Then Big Bend is your Disneyland. Santa Elena Canyon is the most recognizable canyon here. The cliffs rise high, giving you that exhilarating feeling of being in a natural coliseum. If you love hiking, you can start your adventure on the South Rim Trail, a challenging 12-mile journey that rewards you with panoramic views of the sprawling canyons and distant mountain ranges. The Window Trail, on the other hand, is a more moderate 5.6-mile hike that guides you to a natural window, revealing the mesmerizing desert below. Established in 1854, Fort Davis was named after then-Secretary of War Jefferson Davis, who later became the President of the Confederacy during the American Civil War. Its primary mission was to protect travelers and trade along the San Antonio El Paso Road and to maintain peace among the region's indigenous peoples. The fort's garrison was primarily composed of African-American troops known as the Buffalo Soldiers, who were important in maintaining order and security in the region. Their presence and contributions were vital, marking a significant chapter in American military history and the struggle for civil rights. However, the fort's story took a turn when in 1891 it was abandoned. It wasn't until the mid-20th century that Fort Davis regained attention, this time as a preserved historic site. Today, the walls are a bit worn and the cannons are looking rusty, but it's all part of the charm. Fort Davis is the perfect place for a nostalgic trip into the wild southwest of Texas. El Paso lies at the western tip of Texas, where the state borders Mexico and New Mexico. The area was initially inhabited by indigenous peoples, Spanish explorers and missionaries arrived in the late 16th century and had a huge influence on the region's culture. The name El Paso means the pass in Spanish. It refers to the passage through the Franklin Mountains, a natural gateway between the Rio Grande Valley and the Great Plains. The local weatherman here must have the easiest job in the world, predict sun and occasionally even more sun. Did you know that El Paso is the sunniest city in the United States with over 300 sunny days annually? El Paso is directly across from Ciudad Juarez, and the border with Mexico infuses a vibrant Hispanic influence in everything from cuisine to celebrations. The city also claims to be the site of the first Thanksgiving feast in North America, which took place in 1598, two decades before the Pilgrim's celebration in Massachusetts. The Franklin Mountain State Park is one of the largest urban parks in the nation, lying completely within the El Paso city limits. Spanning over 24,000 acres, it's a place where the phrase, get lost in nature, takes on a whole new meaning. You might think, oh, another state park, how exciting. But let me tell you, Franklin Mountain State Park is far from ordinary. The centerpiece of the park is, of course, the Franklin Mountains themselves, standing tall and proud, challenging anyone to conquer their rocky crests. Now, if you're someone who loves a good hike, and by good, I mean potentially life-altering, Franklin Mountains won't disappoint. The trail system here is extensive, and they like to call some of them strenuous. I suppose that's a polite way of saying you might need a paramedic on standby. The Ron Coleman Trail, for example, tempts fate-seekers with its steep ascent and jaw-dropping views. Tucked away in West Texas, the Guadalupe Mountains National Park is a diamond in the rough, quite literally. It's a slice of untouched paradise for those who dare to go off the beaten path. So where does this wonder lie, you ask? Well, grab a map and zoom into the Texas-New Mexico border, and there, nestled in the arms of wilderness, you'll find it. It's a place for hikers, explorers, and anyone with a taste for the wild side of life. This place isn't about flashing neon lights or shopping sprees. This is nature's own theme park. The most prominent part of this desert wonderland is Guadalupe Peak, the highest point in Texas. Hikers, tie your laces tight, for this peak is your Everest. 
It's a summit that demands respect, rewards effort, and punishes any kind of complacency. Oh, and the panoramic view from the top? It'll knock your socks off, if the hike didn't already. The park also hosts all kinds of creatures, from the elusive mountain lion to the mighty golden eagle. The weather here can be unpredictable. One minute it's sunny, the next you're getting soaked, so pack your bags with all weather options. Did you like our slightly sarcastic journey through Texas? Leave a comment and let us know. If you love this video, hit the like button and subscribe to help our channel grow.